when we talk about authority building, they say, oh, authority building, you mean blog posts, right? Sharing blog posts on Twitter? No, if you share just blog posts and you think you're building your authority, that's not gonna happen. You're just spamming people with all the blog posts to do. So building your authority means, you know, something totally, totally different. How I build uh, my authority is I share value with my people, with my followers. Um, I, I share little bits of knowledge with my followers. I post the results I get from social media uh, for my business. I teach them how to get, you know, those results themselves. Um, I share uh, I share things that my target audience is interested in, and I do Twitter search. What? <laughs> Twitter search. So when I first started out, I was nobody on Twitter. I had a few hundred followers, and what I really wanted to happen is I wanted people to come to me and ask me for social media advice. So I couldn't just do that with sharing blog posts and say, oh, hello, I'm a social media expert, ask me, about, ask me some questions about social media. So I needed to build my authority first, and I couldn't do that, so I used Twitter search. I went to search.twitter.com and looked up for people needing, uh, needing social media help, you know, with specific questions, like how do you get more Facebook likes? So these were my uh, keywords that I searched um, on Twitter. I need social media help, I need Facebook page, how to engagement, social media content. And I looked for people needing help in my area of expertise. So what happened when I was using Twitter search for this, and I know I've been speaking to some of you and you said you know that happened to your you as well. So I got when I do when I did that Twitter search, I got 10 spammers. I call them spammers because they're like fully automated Twitter profiles that just share blog posts. And there was one great source, a genuine person really looking for help. So what I did was I found keywords that made this one different. So the keywords, then, you know, those keywords, I inputted it into my next search query. And then I got 10 great resources. And the next thing I did was from ten, uh, that 10 great resources, five of them were asking how to get a big thumbnail image on Facebook. So what I did, I wrote a blog post about how to get a big thumbnail image on Facebook. I shared it on Twitter. And then, you know, that, uh, that uh, blog post is the most popular one on my Facebook page, um, on my web page. So, you know, I refined the process over and over and over again. So I built my authority on top of that. And now, you know, People come to me asking me questions about social media and I can prove myself over and over and over again. 